what is up youtube welcome back to another video today is the official start of peak week so i'm going to be taking you guys to a full day of eating on peak week so that way you can see exactly the ins and outs that go into this all right um a lot of you guys know that this is my first bodybuilding competition so i'm kind of like just going with the flow and doing everything that coach tells me to do right now so today starts the carb depletion for the next four days so this four day of eating is going to reflect the carb depletion so you're not going to see too many carbs in my in my meals for the day all right um but then we're also going to go and get a chest workout in today as well i want to also talk to you guys as we're doing the chest workout so without further ado let's just go ahead and jump to meal number one all right so for meal number one we have 250 grams of egg whites two ounces of white potatoes some plain old black coffee, and then I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of Cholula green salsa and pink Himalayan salt on top, and that is our meal number one, which is also gonna be considered our pre-workout meal as we're about to get ready to go to the gym and go crush some chest right after this. So let's dive into meal number one, and I'll see you guys in the gym, and then i see you guys for meal number two. All right, so hopefully you guys can even hear me right now. It is extremely loud in here today, but we got some chest on the menu today. We're going to be going through three sets, working 15 reps for each and every one of them. We're keeping everything extremely light today. Um, not getting close to failure at all. Kind of just going through the motions, kind of basically like just getting a little pump. Hey, that's really about it. We don't want to cause any injuries or anything being seven days out from our competition. So just going through the motions of everything. Ooh. Uh, I think for this week, that's been the hardest thing is having to dial back with the training just because I'm so used to just really pushing myself and, you know, taking things to failure. So it's a little, it's a little adjustment period that I got to go through and it's just stopping myself before I get to that failure part because in my mind, it's like, just keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. Like I said, being seven days out, we don't want any injuries, so we got to train smart at this point right now. Ooh. Oh, that feels good. Ooh. Uh. Yeah, man, it is crazy to think that we are coming down to our very last workouts before we step on stage. Like, it's been one hell of a journey, and I'm appreciative of the whole entire journey. Being on Body Better Prep has taught me a whole lot, you know, about myself physically, about myself mentally, you know, just how much willing, how much I'm willing to actually push myself. So, it's been a good experience. I think for me personally, the hardest thing that's been about this whole bodybuilding prep that we've been on for the last seven months is just a lifestyle change, you know? So not being able to participate in, you know, family functions and, you know, birthdays and stuff like that, just cause you don't want the temptation, you know? Like, yeah, you can go, you can bring your food, but you know, it's easier just not to be around it and put yourself in them, them type of temptations. But, you know, bodybuilding is a whole lot of discipline and, it's a lonely sport, you know? Nobody's suffering with you. Like, nobody chose to do this with you. You know, this this is something you chose. So, you kind of got to suck it up at the end of the day and just realize that part that, you know, it's just you and you. Like, nobody can help you through this. It's just you. Like, yeah, you can have people that support you and, you know, push you along the way, but for the most part, it's just you. All right, so for meal number two, this is gonna be our post-workout meal. We have five ounces of tilapia, two ounces of um, white potatoes. Same thing, we're just gonna top it with some pink Himalayan salt, some Cholula, also got some yellow mustard on here. And I forgot to show you guys, but we're also gonna be taking um, 1,000 milligrams of vitamin C for our first three meals. But this is meal number two. Um, this is post-workout meal. 
So I'm gonna have this and then I see you guys for meal three. All right, so we just got back from the gym about an hour ago. So we're gonna prepare meals three and four because they're gonna be the exact same meals. We got 10 spares of asparagus in each meal and five ounces of tilapia in each one. The tilapia just finished up in the air fryer, so I'm finishing up the asparagus. I do like to season my asparagus with a little bit of onion powder and just a pinch of lemon pepper, just because the lemon pepper has sodium in it, so we don't wanna go too crazy with that. But I'm gonna finish this up and I'll show you guys our next meal. All right, so that is it. Five ounces of tilapia, two spares of asparagus. Same thing as the other ones. We're gonna top it with a little pink Himalayan salt and our Cholula green pepper sauce. And that will be it. We're also gonna have 40 ounces of water with this meal. So I'm gonna drink down two Helimix cups. And then this is our very last meal that we have our thousand milligrams of vitamin C with. But this is meal three. And meal four is going to be the exact same thing. So um, I won't show you guys meal four, but I will show you guys the last meal of the day. All right. I'm going to enjoy this and I'll see you guys for meal five. All right. So for meal number five and our final meal of the day, we have five ounces of mixed vegetables and six ounces of 99% lean ground turkey. And you already guessed it. We're going to hit it with some pink Himalayan salt and our green pepper salsa. This will be our very last meal. And we're also going to have... 40 ounces of water but hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope it gave you an idea of what it looks like um being on peak week especially when it's carb depletion um time if you guys want to see how a full day of eating is going to look like when we start to introduce more carbs back into the diet just comment that below and i would try to get that video done before we step on stage but i appreciate you guys for watching like always make sure to like comment and subscribe because it does help the page grow and i appreciate all the support and love that you guys have been showing on this journey and i'll see you guys on the next video